there's a lot of confusion out there about prebiotics and probiotics and what you should be taking and when. So in this video, I wanna try and clarify some answers for you so you know how to approach it. So first of all, what's the difference between prebiotics and probiotics? Well, think of it like this. When you feed your body prebiotics, whether it's a food or whether it's a supplement, you're essentially giving a food source to the whole gut microbiome and letting all the different strains of bacteria, the trillions and trillions of, of different bacteria and other organisms in there, choose how much and what they wanna eat. So you're essentially letting the microbiome feed itself to the level it feels like it needs to be. When we do probiotics, these are going to be more targeted strains, and this can be very beneficial in some situations, but it can also create some health issues because if you're only feeding certain strains, you can create what's called gut dysbiosis, where you get too much of certain bacteria. And we need to throw out the old model of good bacteria and bad bacteria. The microbiome, again, is this ecosystem like a rainforest made up of so many trillions of different organisms that are all living symbiotically together, also symbiotically with you. We couldn't live without that microbiome. So it's not good or bad. It's about keeping the right balances of everything. But everyone's microbiome is unique and our microbiome changes all the time. Every day, every hour, it's always changing. And so it's changing depending on the quality of your health, the quality of your diet, and all these kinds of things. So we want it to be diverse as possible. So we don't want to create this gut dysbiosis by constantly taking the same strain of probiotics. And But sometimes that can be controversial. I've done a video previously saying stop taking probiotics every day. Yet in other videos, I'll mention when you should take probiotics. And that's why I really want to clear this up. So if someone wanted to just heal their gut what should they be doing as diverse a diet as possible and I think that starts with good quality grass-fed meat organs especially and if you don't like the thought of eating organs and supplement with them there's some great organ brands out there like ancestral supplements make some really good ones you've got um, heart and soil I love using those I take those a lot myself if I'm not eating organs that day and you want to eat eggs from healthy pasture raised chickens and good quality organic fruits and non lectin vegetables so the non-toxic vegetables if you're not sure what lectins are i've got a whole nother video on that and go and watch that one to understand it but so the more diverse your diet is as you're eating these good quality meats and organs and fruits and eggs and those kind of things you're already going to help heal the gut and get a diverse microbiome then when you eat the the fruits and vegetables the non-lectin containing vegetables that are great for the gut things like asparagus and, and all these prebiotic foods, apples will help with that as well. Now you're feeding a lot of prebiotics in there. Fermented foods are another good one. Hey, Dr. Rodney here. If you wanna get my free PDF, Five Hacks for Boosting Your Immune System, just go into the description of this video, click on the link, download it, and if you have any questions on it, just send me a message and I'll help you out with it. Then if you still feel the need to supplement, like I do take a prebiotic powder every day just because I, I love the brand that makes it as Layer Origin. I think their quality is amazing. They make what's called HMO or the human milk oligosaccharide. I think it's phenomenal for the gut. It just adds on top of the food I'm eating. That to me is now your daily supplement, the right foods with some really good quality prebiotics. First of all, when I take probiotics, I always mix up the strain. So I'm not getting that same one every day. And I'll mix up maybe three or four different strains to make sure I'm not creating that gut dysbiosis. I'll take probiotics or I'll tell people to take probiotics if they've been sick, especially if they've had a gastro bug or really any kind of virus. Take probiotics for a few weeks on top of the prebiotics you're taking to help your body heal. If someone's been on antibiotics, they need to be cycling through different strains of probiotics every day for at least six months again on top of the prebiotics. Sometimes just for a 30 to 90 day period, you might throw some probiotics in there to help the gut again, just to, to mix it in. Uh, if someone's dealing with mold exposure as they work through certain protocols, the one I use is usually the Cellcore Comprehensive Protocol. When we get to the phase three and we add the carboxy binder to get out the mold, it's really good to add the probiotic in there as well. It's just, again, gonna help the body deal with getting out that mold and keep the gut healthy. So there are definitely times to take probiotics, but it is my opinion that you're much better off doing daily prebiotic food and a diverse diet to help that microbiome. And if you want a prebiotic supplement, then use probiotics either because you've been ill, because you need to boost your immune system, 
Maybe because you've done a stool test and found a deficiency, but again, these are all gonna be more short-term, targeted hits, and always make sure you're mixing up the strain so that you're not creating that gut dysbiosis. So if you've got questions about this, leave a comment below. If this is the kind of information that's useful to you, hit that subscribe button, because these are the kind of videos that I release three times a week, and I'd love to have you follow along. Thanks for watching.